everybody. I'm so glad that you joined us today. In case you didn't know, today is Grandparents Day. So make sure you call your grandparents and wish them a happy Grandparents Day and thank them for all that they do for you. Today we're also gonna be in our series, which is called Block Party. All month we're celebrating something that's important for all of us. And by the way, God thinks it's super important too, and it's friendship. Friendship is using your words, and here's a really big key word, and actions to show others you care. There are so many great ways to be a friend. You can hold the door for someone, you can let them go first, you can make them laugh, you can be there for them when they're having a hard day. Today, we're talking about friendship by looking at two of the best friends in all of the Bible. Some pretty wild things happen to these two guys, but let's watch the so-and-so show to see if they're able to stay friends through all of those ups and downs. I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And this is The, the So-and-So so -and -so Show. On this show, John and I hang out here talking together about the world we live in. We learn a little something about God, and then we discover what it means to be human. Man, we do all that? Mm. We're good. I know. And today's no different. We've got a fun day planned, and we're going to get started with a little game we like to call the $1,000 Triangle. John, show me the money. You don't have the money? I spent it all on olives. What? Never mind. Okay, today we're going to play a little game called the 25, 26, 27, 28, dollar and 31 cents. Woo! Triangle. It's time for the 28 dollar and 31 cent triangle. All right, here's how the game works. I'm going to try and get John to guess the answer on each of these cards. Shouldn't be too tough because the category is famous duos, people or things that go together. John, are you ready to play $28.31 triangle? You bet I am, Brandon. Then let's play. <laughs> okay, here we go. Number one, uh, okay, this is something that you write with and something that you write on. Oh, a chisel and stone tablet. <laughs> no, it's a little more modern than that. Oh, a finger and an iPad. No, no, okay, think about this. This is very common. It's something you write with, something you write on. These are two things that go together. They are... The mortal and pastel! No, what? Pass, pass, next uh... one. All right, okay, you can get this one. This is, uh, okay, these are two things that taste great between two slices of bread. Oh, what is anchovies and mayonnaise? No. Oh, oh, ketchup and sugar. Uh, uh, no, uh, okay, it's very, it's one of the most famous sandwiches you can oh, think oh, of. Oh, oh, to all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. Famous duos. Oh. Pass. Uh, oh, my. Uh, Vladimir and Estragon? Yeah. All right, uh, these, uh, okay, these are two of the coolest guys on the planet. Oh, oh, oh who's uh, Thomas Alva Edison, who invented the incandescent light bulb, and Sammy Hagar? No. No, no, these two guys, they have a lot of fun every week and help teach people about God and the Bible. Oh, Mel Solomon and Greg. Uh, no, these two guys are the hosts of the so-and-so show. Stephen and Lawson? No, it's the people hosting the show right now. Right now, they're also playing the game, $28.31 triangle. Uh, they are. Uh, 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 it's me uh, and you, John. Oh. Uh, me and you. Oh. Uh, Unbelievable. I was so close. You only got one right. But who eats peanut butter with jelly? <laughs> it's Bible story time with Kellen. Oh, man. Hello, my friends. How's it going? Pretty good, Kellen. John didn't know we were a famous duo. Oh, I thought we were a famous trio. Hey, you're right. That's why I missed it. Yeah. What story do you have for us today? Well, speaking of duos, today I want to talk about one of the most famous duos in history, David and Jonathan. And to help me do that, please welcome the So-and-So Show Players. Jonathan was the prince of Israel. Hi, I'm Jonathan. And his dad, King Saul, was the very first king of Israel. I am king. David was Jonathan's best friend. Hi, I'm David. He killed Goliath. 
he was a really mean giant. David was a national hero and everyone loved him. <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> and don't tell Saul and Jonathan this, but God had decided that David was going to be the next king of Israel. What he say? Uh, I'm just telling the story. Still, Jonathan loved David, and he gave his friend gifts that were good enough for a prince. Here, friend. It's my bow and arrow. Uh, thank you, best friend. <laughs> and my princely tunic. Mm -hmm. Thank you. For you. <laughs> and mm -hmm. <sighs> my favorite pillow. <laughs> my favorite soccer ball. Thank you. <laughs> Hold on. There's more to come. And all of the important things. Oh. You'll sleep well with him. Th thank you. This will help you in a jam. Th thank you. And this will always provide the light just the way you want it. Oh, thank you. Jonathan probably didn't give David a lampshade, but you get the idea. They were best friends. Unfortunately, King Saul was jealous of David because everyone liked him so much. So King Saul sort of wanted to... Uh, Kill David. Why does your dad want to kill me? What did I do? Well, he's not going to kill you. He, look, dad tells me everything. He wouldn't keep something like that from me. Maybe he didn't tell you because he knows how close we are. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, oof. Mm. What do you want me to do? Hmm. I'm supposed to eat with the king at the new moon feast tomorrow. Tell them that I couldn't make it. And if he gets mad, then you'll know for sure he's trying to kill me. Can you do that? Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. Wait, how will I know how your father reacts? Hmm. 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 I have an oddly over-elaborate plan that might just work. Mm -hmm. You see that stone out there? Yes. I want you to wait by that stone. That's After the feast, I'll come out with a servant, and I'll shoot three arrows into the field. Three. And if everything is okay, I'll say... Look, the arrows are on this side of you. And if I find out that dad wants to kill you, I'll say, look, the arrows are far, far beyond you. And if I say that, then you definitely need to run. Okay? All right? Got it? Okay. What, why wouldn't you just send your servant no, out no, there no, to no, tell no. me dirt? There's no time for discussion, okay? The game is in foot. Let's go. Go. On. Okay. The plan was in place. Everything was set. David had chosen not to eat with the king at the new moon feast. The only question was, how would King Saul react? Well, on the second night of the feast, King Saul noticed something was missing. Son? Yes, father? Where? Yes. Is? Yes. Cuts up! Oh, um, uh, it's, uh, right here. Right, it's right here. Oh, thank you, thank you, <laughs> and, uh, thank you. I believe it's pronounced catch up, last I heard. Huh. Yeah, well, <laughs> the more you know. Ah. Uh, also. Where? Yes, Father? Is... Yes, the, the the mustard. Um, it's right, right, right there. <laughs> yes. Oh, thank you. Thank yeah, you. No problem. Mm. There's a little red, a little yellow. Makes a very mm. happy mm -hmm. fellow. Very good. Now, <laughs> oh, son. Mm. <clears throat> yes, father. Uh, where's David? Um, he wanted to. Go visit his family, so I let him go. What? Uh, now, do you not realize that as long as he is alive, you will never be king? David must die! He but he hasn't done anything! Oh. King Saul was so angry, he grabbed a spear and threw it at his own son. I'm going to throw this spear. Fear at you. No, no. You best no. run! No! You no. best run! Uh, not, not a pickle spear, an actual spear. But whatever. 
The spear missed Jonathan, and Jonathan had all the information that he needed. King Saul wanted to kill David. So it was time to send David the signal. Come, unnamed servant from the Bible. Let's shoot some arrows into the field for no mysterious reason whatsoever. Shall I make the sound, sire? Oh, shall you make the sound? <laughs> Don't you always make the sound? Very Thank good. You. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> Very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Excellent marksmanship, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Okay. Now, run out into the field and collect those arrows. Uh, but they're just, they're just right there. Go! Okay. Hurry! Run fast! Don't stop! The arrows are far beyond you! I feel like you're not even looking at me. Just go! Run! Have I gotten there yet? Okay, okay, okay. I'm, there it. Oh, got him. Got him. <laughs> Yahtzee. All right. Okay. Oh, yeah. Very well, lad. You take those weapons back to town. Okay. When the servant left, David came out of hiding and met his friend on the field one last time. Get up, get up, get up. Get up. Promise me you'll always be kind to my family. Even after my father is gone? I promise. In the name of the Lord, you and I have made a promise to be friends. It's not only a promise between us, but between our children after us. Yes. Go in peace. By protecting David that day, Jonathan saved the life of the future king of Israel. But more importantly than that, he saved his friend. The end. How about a hand for the so-and-so show players? Uh, wow, what an incredible story. I know, Jonathan was a prince, so by saving David, he was basically giving up the throne. And that's risking amazing. his life. I mean, Jonathan really laid everything on the line for his friend. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what friends do, isn't it? They love each other. They're patient and kind. They protect each other and never give up on each other. It's, it's like the Apostle Paul wrote in his letter to the Corinthians. Love never fails. Never? Uh, I'm not sure I'm that good of a friend. No offense. No, I'm with you. It's true. I think if we really want to love like a true friend, we're going to need God's help. He knows more about love than anyone. Well, think about it. He sent his son, Jesus, to die for us so that we would know how important we are to him. Talk about laying everything on the line. Yeah, that's so true. Thanks, Kellen. You bet. I'll catch you guys later. See ya. Huh. Bye, Kellen. So if God went out of his way to show us how important we are to him, and if Jonathan went out of his way to show David how important he was, what, what does that mean for us? Don't ask me, ask them. All right, reveal the question. How can you show your friends they're important? Yeah, yeah, what are some ways you can show your friends they're important to you? Yeah, uh, maybe give them a wrapped apple. A wrapped apple? Yeah, they're healthy. Or maybe spend time with them. Oh, you don't even have to wrap the apple if you don't want to, just... Talk about it together. How can you show your friends they are important? Y you know, you've never even once given me an apple. I'm Brandon. Uh, and I'm John. And this was The So-and-So Show. Not even mashed or sauced. By, you wouldn't want a mashed apple? For, Absolutely. Like Haven't you ever had a mashed apple? What are you doing, Brandon? Well, I'm just taking a stroll around the block. Boo, 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 boo. Hey, you know what this is? Eh? It's a chip off the old block. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, stop being a stumbling block. I'll knock your block off, blockhead. <gasps> you got any more? No, I've, I've got writer's block. 
David and Jonathan went through a lot together, but through it all, they stayed friends. God had a big plan for David, and it would have been so easy for Jonathan just to feel jealous. But Jonathan chose friendship first. We can show God's love to each other through our friendships. And remember, the bottom line for this week is friends love one another. So here's the thing. If you really want to love people the way that God wants you to, you need God's help. You can't do it on your own. After all, God knows us better than anyone. He loves us so much that he sent Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. He gave us the best example of love. And with his help, we can choose to be good friends to everyone around us. We can choose to treat others the way that we want to be treated. So what does love really look like? Well, the Apostle Paul actually wrote about it, and it's in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 through 7. And I know what you're thinking. As soon as I start to read this, you're going to think, that's that verse for weddings. Well, this is not just for the kind of love between a husband and a wife. This is the kind of love from God that we are supposed to share to others. And here's what it says. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not brag. How many of you brag to your friends? It is not proud. It does not keep track of other people's wrongs. It always protects, it always trusts, and it always hopes, and it never gives up. That's what love is. We are in a series called Contagious Love out in a main service, and we're learning all about this type of love and how we can show love to our community. The first week, we were challenged to show love to our teachers, educators, principals, and other school staff. My daughters and I baked over a hundred cupcakes and decorated them, and we brought them up to their school as a thank you for the staff at my daughter's school. It was really fun. We had a great time doing it, and the teachers really enjoyed it too. This past week, we were challenged to show love to our first responders. And since my husband is a firefighter, we decided to make these little firefighter survival kits and hand them out to the whole department. We had a lot of fun with that, and they were thrilled to receive even just the thought that somebody was thinking about them that week. And then this week, the challenge is to show love to any medical professionals. So that would be your doctors, nurses, techs, etc. And I'd like to challenge you to join in. Here are a few ideas that you can do this week. hope that you will join in our challenge this week and if you do please send me a picture or a video so that we can share it with our church i hope you guys all have a great week let's pray father god thank you so much for today lord thank you for um, being able to just talk about friendship and love and what that looks like and how we can change that in our daily lives to be more loving towards others god i want to lift up this contagious love challenge to you, Lord, that it will be stirred in people's hearts to participate and to show love to the community around us. Lord, we are just so grateful for everything that you give us, and it is in your son's name we pray. Amen. Bye, guys. See you next week.